good evening friends in the continuation of uh, spoken english and day to day conversation we are continuing a spoken english in simple future and future continuous tense well whenever we talk about conversation whenever we talk about dialogue whenever we talk about spoken english we cannot forget two important i mean tenses one is present continuous tense another one is simple future tense you may ask so why are you asking i mean why are you referring to present continuous and simple future actually there are not only simple future i am talking about there are three such tenses which refer to future time in day to day conversation although all future tenses simple future future continuous future perfect continuous all future tenses including simple present and present continuous refer to future time actually what is future time whenever we refer to an action which is likely to take place in future we can either express it in simple future or we can express it in simple present or we can express it in pu uh, yes future continuous or we can express it in present continuous for example let's say two i mean persons are in conversation and they are just going to narrate about what is going to happen in the next three days on the political map look look the uh, look at this scenario the prime minister is in i mean uh, dhaka bangladesh on uh, i mean uh, on the request and invitation of uh, the um, 50th anniversary of uh, the independence of uh, i mean uh, bangladesh uh, sheikh hasina uh, has um, given him the honor to be the chief guest on the uh, function of the 50 years of bangladesh independence so now if we want to talk about what is going to happen after that in the future certainly we can say in different way that on political i mean scenario or we may may call it as a, i mean global scenario india's image will rise in future tense india will be acknowledged simple future tense india is going to be acknowledged present continuous tense india gets acknowledged in the eyes of the global leaders the prime honorable prime minister narendra modi being honored to be i mean invited as the chief guest of the function in bangladesh india is going to be honored india is going to be acknowledged in the eyes of the global leaders so see how we are conversing the relation between india and bangladesh will get further strengthened और मजबूत होगा इंडिया और बांग्लादेश का रिलेशन तो इसी को आप कैसे कर सकते हैं इंडिया बांग्लादेश बायोलेट्रो रिलेशन विल गेट स्ट्रेंथ देन इंडियाज बांग्लादेश रिलेशन विल फॉर्दर गेट स्ट्रेंथ देन इंडियाज बांग्लादेश रिलेशन बायोलेट्रो रिलेशन इज गोइंग टू बी स्ट्रेंथ देन एंड ग्लोबल आई मीन लीडर्स विल टॉक अबाउट इंडियाज बांग्लादेश स्ट्रॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप now moving on to day to day conversation let us say that you are planning uh, to do something in the next week then you can say we are going to visit goa in the next week or the same thing you can say we will visit goa in the next week the same uh, conversation can be expressed in that way that we will be visiting goa in the coming week yeah the you know chopra's family will be visiting goa in the next week uh, yeah they they will be staying at a hotel at an international hotel in goa they will be taking their i mean trip further to and the is i mean places in goa particularly the church and uh, churches they are going to visit the churches they will also have uh, di dinner in different i mean hotels they will also have boating and i mean other trekking they will also enjoy the beautiful sight so like that you can use conversation present simple sim uh, you know simple future and present continuous can simultaneously be used to refer to future time you can say that now uh, you, you have made a plan let us say two students are in conversation about their preparation they will say like that well uh, the board exam is going to be held in may so we are still uh, going to i mean revise the lessons we are preparing for the board exam 
some of the students have already i mean prepared for the exam so they are revising so they, they will say that we will be revising all the lessons till the exam uh, starts we will be i mean going through chapter wise revision till the exam starts all the students will be revising conceptual chapter wise uh, revision uh, unless the exam starts so he will be i mean uh, doing some math questions every morning uh, till the exam starts she will be visiting her uncle's house uh, just for a day before the exam starts some of the students will get their admit card printed before the exam starts the students will be appearing at the practical exams class 12 students will be appearing because it has already started the um, uh, class 12 students board students will be appearing at you know practical exams particularly physics chemistry music you know pe and all other subjects practical subjects in the coming week their practical i mean marks will be loaded very soon the board will be i mean um, you know uh, making a plan of appointing invigilator in the next week the letters will be sent to the in uh, i mean evaluators next week the observers letter will be uh, i mean sent in the coming week like that we are making i mean future tense as frequently used as we require like you can say that where we are planning to have a short trip to maharashtra but not in the next week because at the moment corona is spreading very fast so net maybe that after two or three months we will visit maharashtra after three four months we'll visit you know madhya pradesh indore she will be visiting usa next week because one of her relative uh, is inviting her to come to usa many students will be you know making that trip after the exam is over the students will be i mean appearing for J and NIT exam, advanced J J and NIT exams in the coming month, in the May month. So most of the students are preparing for their exam, and the exam is going to be held in the month of May. So most of the NIT examinees are mm, expecting to appear in the exam in the month of May. Like that, we are I mean continuing the conversation in simple future tense. Conversation in simple future tense can be very frequently used in day-to-day -day conversation. You may talk to a person or any stranger. You will say that what are you, what are, what are, what is going to happen in the next ten years? They will say, well, India will make a, a rapid progress in the next ten ten years. Um, India is going to um, become one of the I mean superpowers in the next ten years. Many I mean Asian countries like India and China will be competing with each other. in the next 10 years the indian economy will be rising very fast in the next 10 years the people of india will be acknowledged all over the world in the next 10 years the youth will be getting more and more job in the next 10 years so like that we can just mm, get the simple future tense and the present continuous tense and simple present tense and future continuous tense simultaneously use in the day to day conversation and that is how we can continue the conversation and the structure is you know subject plus will shall plus v1 plus subject plus complement in the interrogative it will be will shall um, plus subject plus v1 plus subject plus complement plus question mark and in the negative it will be subject plus will shall plus not plus v1 plus subject plus complement so that is how we are going to emphasize on use of simple future tense future continuous tense uh, in the day to day conversation and that is what i wanted to say this is edising on the channel easy english by edising your own channel thank you very much thanks a lot